Hello, my darlings, and welcome to another Let's Build. The Stunning. That is the mantra for today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part two of Willow Glen. If you can probably hear, I've obviously got my fan on. It is as hot as sticky balls in this office and I am suffering today. Oh, I'm ready for autumn right now. I'm, I will not lie to you. I am ready for autumn. I've had enough of summer. Summer can do one now. We've had it since April. <laughs> what it feels like anyway in the UK. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for the autumn. We're all struggling very much in the UK with heat. And because we're British, we like to talk about the weather. So that is how I'm introducing this video to you today. Yes. That is the mantra. But um, yeah, obviously we're going to be carrying on with the Willow Glen. Probably going to be carrying on with most of the exterior and a bit of the gardens and stuff today. Get a bit of that done. Um, I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch tonight as well. If you're going to be joining me, this video releases at 6 p.m. British summertime. Um, and I will be streaming from 7 p.m. British summertime. So it'd be lovely to see you guys there. I'm only going to be streaming. I only stream anyway for a couple of hours. But tonight I will stream for a couple of hours as well. I did say last time that I'll stream longer, but I cannot be in this office for longer than two hours. It is that warm. Um, and Tom's taking me out for a nice romantic sunset watch on the beach. So that is what I'm going to be doing this evening and it's going to be lush. Anyway, enough blabbering on. Let's get into game. So here we are back at Willow Glen. Now I haven't... Um, done much to it since the last time in fact i did nothing i made some i put some trees out for the screenshots and stuff and i put fences down for for some reason they've disappeared i don't know where they've gone i keep finding that stuff is changing after i've saved it there's been a few things that have disappeared and gone wrong after i've saved it including see the stone that we put on there right at the end and i know i did save i will always save before i exit the game it disappeared and it went back to the original one that we had beforehand. I don't know why that is. It's very strange. Anyway, this is the Willow Glen family, my loves. I'm going to go around and introduce you to a bit of them now. Tell you a little bit of their backstories. But I, again, we'll share a bit more as the build kind of progresses. We'll do it that way. Anyway, so this is um, Santiago. Santiago Willow Glen. He's the brother of Astrid Willow Glen. You've met Astrid. She was one of the sages. She was the sage of mischief magic at Wasworth School of Spellcasting. This is her brother. This is the archaeologist that we said it. He loves all things magical and magical history, artifacts, along those sort of lines. He's got a passion in life, and that's his passion. And that's his job. He's away a lot with his um with his work. They are of Selvadoradian descent as well, this whole family. Um, the grandmum and granddad both still live in Selva Dorada, so we'll be making that house when we get to Selva Dorada. Um, but yeah, he often goes back there because of the artifacts and stuff that that place holds. There's a storyline coming with that as well, but we won't dip into it too much. This is his wife. This is his wife, Marcia. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Um, she's a bit of a carefree spirit. She... She's a bit bossy. I would say she's a bit bossy to the kids. Likes to keep them in check. Likes to kind of, I don't know, keep them grounded, keep them humble. But um, her heart is in the right place. Now, she loves the outdoors as well. So we're going to make her a nice big like herb garden out the back here. So she does play around with potions and stuff quite a bit, I would imagine. Um, This is her daughter. This is probably the main character from this household. What I want to play around with the storyline with a bit more. Um, and one of you guys actually chose the name for Blair. This is Blair Willow Glen, by the way. Uh, this is her uniform. So this here is the uniform to Wasworth School of Spellcasting. I would probably see her around the age of about 16. Um, and I would say that they probably go to school there until they're about 18 and ready to leave and do whatever they want to do afterwards. And she's, she's really fascinated with what her dad does. Her dad is obviously into history and artifacts and stuff. So she's got a very curious spirit um she likes to get into trouble secretly get into trouble she never gets caught getting into trouble with her two friends which we will be making um you can probably see where we're going with the storyline she's probably our kind of hermione granger for this story still very clever very clever indeed 
But um, again, we'll share a bit more of that when it comes to it. This here, my loves, is Leonardo Willoughglen. So he is obviously a child. He's not ready to go to Wasbiths yet. I'd probably say he's around about nine and they get accepted when they're about 11. I'm stealing a lot of storylines, aren't I? Bet you can't guess where from, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's... um. I'd say he's a bit more like his mum. I've made him like the outdoors as well. So he loves the outdoors. He loves animals. Um, he's got... I reckon he's going to have more than one familiar as well. Which is a... You can't really do that in game. But I reckon he'd have more than one familiar. So I may even like get a couple of cats for this household. So that will kind of pay respect to that storyline. But yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm going to get into the actual build mode rather than doing it from here just so we can get the lighting a little bit better and we'll carry on with this build okay into game um i and well, for the screenshot i used these fences and we were going to use that curved like wall which is this one here um but i don't know i still quite like it it was really annoying to try and put this on with the train that's risen up because it kept well, you can imagine, it just kept rising and I didn't want to mess around with the train too much because I really liked how the train looked. But again, we need to make this place look very lived in. Still very loved, but very lived in. So maybe I will use these ones. We will obviously have to put a fence somewhere though so they don't walk straight through it. But um, I'm sure they'll use the front, hopefully. We'll have to put like a little thin line underneath and maybe hide it with, hide it with soil or something. I don't know. We're going to carry on. So yeah, I'm going to use these. We're going to use these all around because I really like that curved detail at the front. I think it suits this build very nicely. I might actually, if I can get rid of this fixed fence, because I do like the detail of it being broken. And put the fixed fence back there. No, the broken fence, sorry. And then grab this one. Oh, damn. It's not going to be enough now. I hate you. How is everybody doing today? Um, sorry if I feel sound a bit lethargic but i am sweltering i don't know if you knew but i'm very hot at the minute i don't know if i've mentioned that at all while recording <laughs> but i'm boiling absolutely moist you could say extremely moist um and i think a lot of people in the uk are feeling exactly the same right now i'm not for it i want autumn here this instant that's a different fence that one where's the others here they are here they are can I whiffle you around? Oh, you bet your tit I can. Right, I'm going to flop this into here, like so. And this one into here. Yeah, that looks cute. That looks very cute. Okay. They will just walk straight through this, which is going to be annoying, but we're going to crack. We're going to crack on. We're going to carry on, my loves. Right, a bit more. I don't want to do it all wall i think i'll do the walls to about there because i do want to start getting some like hedges and stuff in i think the hedges would make it look really nice really nice indeed if you hear some banging stuff downstairs as well i've got my office door open you probably can't see it but um tom's just came back with the shopping so i've got lots of munch to eat afterwards oh yeah I prefer around the other way i need a pole there though really don't i um where is that fence of dreams? This one. Oh, and guys, I've got a speed build coming on Saturday. And it is... Uh, I've been playing around with Felix Anders' uh, new Kyoto pack. It's a Japanese pack. So I'm going to be building a lovely Japanese house with CC. And it's honestly, the pack is absolutely astounding. The details in it, it... it absolutely shits all over any of the sims 4 packs it really does <laughs> build and buy wise obviously but oh my god it's beautiful 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 so yeah i'm gonna get that out on saturday i'm very excited about it very excited right okay maybe here this tree can maybe come a bit forwards now maybe just like there I'm just thinking, maybe I could put, because I do want to use a big tall fence around the garden, and I'll probably go for that base game one, this one here, in one of the lighter tones. But I'm just thinking, let me have a little look. Oh yeah, that will work. Yes. Okay, well I'm going to map this all in now while we're here, we may as well. All the way. 
and I'll do it all the way to there. Is that like balanced? No, good, because I don't want it to be. I'll put that to there as well. Okay. I'm not going to do any decking out here either. I'm going to do all the gardens going to be come straight down into the steps and everything's going to be at ground level um, because I want to do like a chicken run, all of that kind of thing. You know, very burrow-esque, very burrow-esque. Now, if I remember rightly, there's no matching fence to this gate, to this, there's no matching gate to this fence, shall I say. So I might have to go and use a blue one, which I don't mind. It goes well, it goes quite nice. But maybe I could use... The, oh, that one's okay. I'd be very shocked if we get a matching swatch for this because Sims... Nope. So I'm going to go for a darker one. Yeah, cute. This tree is not working for me here. So you, my darling, are going away. I've had enough. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put the, this path and wind this path around here as well. So maybe we'll do that just to get that mapped in first. And then we're going to move on to a bit more landscaping and stuff, which would be lovely. Really will. But, um, but yeah, I've been doing so many things to try and keep my house cool today. And my house usually does stay quite cool in the summer, apart from this office, which is the most annoying thing about it. Because it's the room that I need to be in. Um, so I've been trying everything, keeping curtains closed. I haven't at the minute. I've got my blinds open just for the lighting. But the sun's not directly on us right now. Um, obviously, I've had my fanny out all day. <laughs> and um, I'm, someone's told me to, like, freeze like a bottle of water in the freezer. And then cover that bottle of water in, like, a damp towel. And put your fan in front of that. So I'm thinking I'm going to try that tonight for the stream. <laughs> Just so it can keep me cooler for longer. <laughs> cooler for longer. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely. I don't know if I want to, like, make some levels here. Like, so I can put some kind of, like, plant pots and stuff on it. Let's try that. Let's have a little gander. And see if we can try that. Flatten to... I always, I always pick the wrong one out for some reason. Right, if I can, like get one to there we're gonna need the grid on for this just so i can see what we're actually getting here okay i mean i can still do it over here as well i can come around here come around here a bit more lovely darling and here let me i probably have to smooth it oh no that's fine yeah i like that because that's going to give me like a level to put stuff on. And I think I'll do the same on this one as well. I'm trying to get that at the same height. It doesn't really matter as long as it's just flat. So let's go into about there. Let's get that grid on again so I can see. Oh God, that's not right. That's showing things there. I can see it through the green. Yeah, no, that's too low. Um, Work with me, Sheila. Thank you very much. That's dipping the path down. I, I'm going to say it. I do not like the uh, terrain manipulation in Sims 4. I know you guys know that, but I don't. Just wanted to remind you, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Right. Let me smooth this. Because that went weird. What the hell's going on there? Right. That should be fine. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. I do want a well as I'd like a well in this place. I very much would. I'm going to hide this with some tree. Maybe we'll do that before we move on to what I was just about to do. Um, in fact, I'm going to go into debug and pull out some um, bushes and whatnot. Give me two seconds. I've pulled out a few objects here and there just to, I don't know. Fancy up the place a little bit. It was quite difficult because not only is the build and buy catalogue an absolute asshole to try and search through, but um, a lot of the objects have got a big footprint on them, so you can't really put them down smoothly. Like, they just don't fit. They just, they're, they're, that's it. They don't fit. And it's very, very annoying. Very much is. Okay, I'll mix that up with, maybe we can just go a normal bush out. I think what I'll do is mix it up with one of the ones from Get Together. 
like these ones probably pink actually yeah i'll mix blend it around a little bit but i think the other one was darker oh that's the wrong one yeah this one's better that's a bit better let me just hide the edge of that wall there as well just plonk all these in place yeah cute i think this one could do well by coming in just a little bit more yeah that's better i'm gonna put loads of flowers down here as well absolutely gorgeous and i think here i might even put a little bench down here i think that could be quite cute so i'm gonna flatten the terrain out a little bit down here let's get the grid on just so i can fit a nice bench in there we'll do it all there as well yeah oh yes yeah, smashing smashing and I was going to say putting like pots and stuff down here, but I think like making it look like a little mini meadow might look like really nice if I can get these flowers to just go on the ground. And I think a nice like mixture of lavenders and some oranges would look stunning. I tried pink, but the pink, I mean blue, but the blue was clashing with the house for some reason. I thought it was going to complement it. Complimented it? I thought it was going to complement it considering... Blue and orange are complimentary. But it didn't. It looked bloody awful. Right, this is not laying on the ground. At all. Um, okay. Right, you to there. I know I'm just whiffling it around. But I'm fussy. I am a fussy bum. That's all that can be said on that. That is definitely floating. So is that. Do you know what? Piss off. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm hot. Right, can I like filter it to colors? Orange. I could just use them. And these are like the ones in game and they seem to like lay in the ground a bit better. Oh, okay. Well, we, oh, they're literally the same. I thought I was finding something special and they're literally the same. So we're going to use these. Mixture of purples, oranges, whites as well, I think. And just some lovely greens on the floor. I'm using these lavenders, which I found in Deerbug. Deerbug. Because I find that the graphics are nicer on them. I really do. Further graphics. Just little clusters of flowers here and there. I think it would look lovely. And another one there. Right. Okay. Right. Let's get rid of orange. Excuse me. And where are those lovely little daisies? These ones. Yes. Some nice white daisies as well. Yes. Um, is anybody else looking forward to Twisted Mexi's um, build and buy catalog? Actually categorize the whole thing so we can actually search through it. Oh, that is otherworldly and I'm here for it, I tell you. Right. And then around the edges, I'm going to use a mixture of this one. But also this one just to bring a bit of colour. Oh, I don't like the green there. Oh, do you know what? It's not too bad once it's intermingled. So maybe I'll intermingle it. Intermingle. I like that word. I like a mingle. Well, I don't. I don't like people. <laughs> just like the word. Mingle. But um, on Twitch tonight, we're going to be carrying on with the Every Room is a Different Pack Challenge. I have edited the house from last time as well because I just didn't like, I went back to it. I was like, oh God, what were you doing? And you were doing that live to people. How dare you? So I've gone back and I've edited it a little bit and I much prefer, much prefer how it's turned out now. It's looking like a modern, modern farmhouse vibe. Right, I'm not like not liking all the lavender now I've got this down because I'll keep a couple of them and I'll go into the build catalog to get them out. Oh, that it see what I mean? As soon as I took that away, it just made it look better. I think I went a bit overkill with the lav. Overkill with the lav. Overkill with the lavy. We don't want to overkill with the lav, to be honest. Yes. Absolutely queen. Right now, you carry on. Can I get this bush out the front here? I mean I could. I don't know if that's just a bit excessive. Yeah, that's better, I think. That's better. Okay. So maybe just like a little, a few little clusters of rocks 
just around the place would look quite cute. So I'm going to put a few here. I'll overlap these two. Maybe I need to go under that with a bit of greenery. But I will size this right down. Right down. Nearly burped. Right in your face. I'm so sorry. And then you as well. Maybe to like there. And then just tra trail this all the way down to here. Here and here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. I think I need to move that in just slightly though. That's better. Just putting two rocks down now you need to do all that. But it's all about those little details, love. What have I always said? It's about those little details. I think what I might do is put the mailbox here. Let's put the mailbox here. Oh, rusty. I'd probably, this looks very, um, yeah, this looks very Glimmerbrook. And I'll pop it. Uh, do I want it going into the rock? I don't really. So maybe I can pop it there. Put up it there. Oh, I kind of like that. That's cute. I also off of camera put some uh, greenery on the fences as well, just to detail that off a little bit. Okay. Yes. Right. Back into flowers. I can never understand why the lavender's in um, bushes. They're flowers. It should be with flowers. Yes. How dare you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's giving me a vibe. It really is. I put two of these little planters, just two different ones out the front here. And I also got these hanging baskets, what I thought would work really well if I could hang them off the corner of the roof line here. Is that pop? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, it is not. That is, though. Maybe I can pop one there. Oh, stunning. And another one. Just on the edge here as well. Let me get that through so I can see where we are. And then I'll go right to the corner and shuffle it down to one. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I like that a lot, I do. Wondering if we could put like an awning on this bit. Oh, I would love to use. Look at this. Look how stunning that is. That's from Felix Sanders' um, Japanese pack. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have used it in the build that I'm working on as well. Um, Can I use this? It's going a bit, is this getting a bit much? I mean, it sticks out about 25,000 years. Years? Feet. Um, what about if I can just move you up with that? Oh, it's on the door. Well, it's kind of on the wood. Oh, I quite like that. I like it in that color as well, but I am going to just have a look at the others just in case. No, I like it in that one. Yeah, that's fine. And it's like fixed onto the wood. So shush. yes, that's cute. Okay, that's cute. Right out the front here, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do can't remember for the life of me where they are so uh, i think i'm just gonna go and find them quickly give me one second maybe we can like add in some like little milk jugs for her milk delivery in the morning i thought that would have been a nice little touch yeah that's cute is that floating yes it is yeah i like that idea oh very cute just those little details again my loves and that is floating somewhat there. But we're not going to let it come between us, are we? The answer to that, my friends, is absolutely no. No. Right. I'm going to raise you up. In the words of Westlife. <laughs> God, I hated Westlife. Right. Um, A tree needs to be out the front here. Now, we've got lots of these pine trees around. So I'm thinking about adding one of them in. I'm just hoping it's not going to swamp the front of the build too much oh shit they need more money oh give me one second i need to give them some money money's been added so let's get a tree <laughs> i completely forgot that i've did it this way um so i was trying to add in one of those big boys wasn't i mm, i'd like it here so i need to get this house up so i can see i don't need it that big maybe and then maybe i could Whiffle it around just so it doesn't skirt. In. We don't want you going indoors. Let's have a look. Oh, it is creeping in slightly there. What about if I just spin you? I just saw you raise then. 
Ooh. Oh, damn you. Damn you to hell. I'll have to move it, and then I will put something underneath of it. Cool. Lovely. Right. I'm going to mix a bit more of these around here, because that's a bit excessive there. And put some there as well. All in the detailing, loves. All in the detailing. We do need another bush. Like here. And um, maybe I could use this one actually. Just to like hide that edge there. Mm, yeah, that's a bit better. I'm going to go around there with a bit of landscaping anyway as well. Um, do I want to come down here with a bit? I think I do. I think I'm going to just come down here with a little cheeky bit. Just in the front. I mean, we've hardly done anything apart from landscapes today. But the project. Okay. And I might add another lavender in here as well. So maybe just size it down one. That's better. That's better. Right. Bit of terrain painting. Bit of terrain painting. I'm going to use this for the soil, I think. Let's size you up a bit so we can get... That's a bit excessive, my love. Bit of softness, please. Bit of this. I do want some grass to show through as well. So I might... In fact, I'm going to... That looks quite dry, that earth. So I think I'm going to get rid of that a little bit. And go in with a darker earth. This one. That's a bit better. In fact, let's get darker. Lovely. Same there as well. Now, I don't want to, like, get rid of all of this grass. I still want there to be bits of grass kind of creeping through. So I'm just whiffling it. Just ever so slightly. Like this. Yes. That needs to be earth there. Makes sense for being grass there. Okay. That's looking cute. I'm going to put a nice bench in the front here. I think I may even use the one uh, that's classed as a sofa for some reason. Not a sofa. That's a bench. Or a love seat. Oh, see, look. Th this is nowhere near. Nowhere near. The landscaping or the terrain manipulation even and it doesn't let me put a bench there no nope. okay it's magic it's a floating bench and it's magic no i'll sort it out i'll move it down with the tool mod once i get into doing a bit of tool modding so just ignore that for the minute. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe I could put like a little like awning over the top of it. Oh God, trying to put an awning around there. Good luck. Good luck is all I can say. Well, what about you? I mean, it doesn't fit with the aesthetics and we're definitely not going to get a swatch that matches in. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Um, I'm going to have a little think. Give me two seconds. Okay, so that's what I've kind of came up with. I just mixed up a few of the base game um, hedges and overlapped them a little bit. You know, just did the usual. Did the usual. And I think it just gave it a bit of personality. A bit of personality. I needed something behind this bench for some reason. I don't know why I wanted that, but I've, I've done it. I have. I've done it. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want too much landscaping going down here so i think what i'm gonna do is add in this oh god i wish there was one in between these two like the, i think that's just such a big jump um let's get the harshness on we'll have just that as landscaping and then down here we'll make this path a bit more apparent there we go all the way down all the way down and then I'm going to size down. Where are those little flowers of dreams? These ones. What about if I could like size a couple of these down? Just plonk them. Just on the edges here. And I do want. I know I've only put like two down for the minute. But I don't want to be. Getting you guys bored by watching me place bloody flowers. But it's coming along. It's definitely getting there. This needs to. 
to be like a little bush there as well. Oh, stunning. That's just completely completed that. Um, um, what about just a little bit of grass? Like this. Just like under like the feet of the, the benches. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's not a massive difference, but it makes me happy to have these little details. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe one of you here as well, just to bring a pop of colour in. Oh, stunning. Oh, that looks very cute. I'm very happy. <laughs> very happy with that. I am extremely happy. You may have noticed I've added something. We have a llama gate now. <laughs> I just thought that was cool. Maybe this like, well, ah, maybe Blair put a spell on this hedge and it grew into the shape. Love that idea for us. Okay, moving on. Anyway, what else are we doing? We're gonna, I'm gonna add a few of those low liars just underneath of here as well, just to mix up these. Lovely, we'll do the same around here. Do the same around here, but I'll put loads of lavender here, I think. I'm going to put some just there as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And while we're here, I'm going to train paint underneath of the fence. And I think I'll use the like broken grass one underneath there. Yes. It's all in those details, my loves. It's all in those little details. I will remind you of that all the time. It may seem tedious. But for me, it's what makes a good build. Or a, bi a build is as good as it can be. We'll leave it as that. Yes. Oh, cute. Oh, she's, she's looking smashing. Right, now I want to get over to this side. So this here, I want it to be a bit wild. So I want the gra grass to be overgrown. I want lots of white flowers in it. I think the white flowers would look really cool here. Um... Oh, Christ. There we go. Oh, I don't like the way that they're growing out there. And I can't go up any further. So if I can size it down, maybe. Maybe. What way are you facing then? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, stunning. Right. And then I'm going to add some more of these just to connect in the grass areas. Don't have to do it everywhere, but just in places, I think. Just trying to make it look as natural as possible and realistic as possible. He says, well, he says he's got hedges that grew like llamas because of magic. Well, you know, je ne sais quoi, what can I say? What can I say? Oh, it's a bit excessive, isn't it? That's very excessive. Um, I'm going to get the daisies, hopefully. You can't really see them, but what I'll do... I'll plonk some at ground level so you can kind of see them above all in different ways and then what I'm going to do is just raise them up so they kind of creep up the top of the grass oh lovely and one more there oh stunning and another one here but maybe not as high maybe to like there oh it's gorgeous Absolutely beautiful. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, I think at the minute we're going to leave the front uh, garden where it is. And I'm just going to go around and put some more details on the exterior and stuff now. Um, just to bring a bit more of this exterior to life. I think that's what we'll do. Guys, I've just failed. I didn't press record. Half an hour of me building on <laughs> and i'm too hot to go back and do it again so i'm not going to this time <laughs> i usually would you know me but i can't so i'm just going to go and show you what we've done so i'm so sorry if this part's going to be a bit shorter today i promise to make it up to you um i forgot to mention from last time as well i put in the cats and dogs rooftop to cover that hole and one of you guys also mentioned it as well which was really cool uh, it fit perfectly so that's what we did last time. Totally forgot to say. What we did, I just put in some ivy all over the turret. Just made it look extra nice. We're going to go down there and put a nice 
bush at the bottom there just to hide where it kind of starts from. Um, I also added in some pillars here and there and some window. Oh, God, I'm bumping all over the place. Some window boxes here and there. Um, and just a few little more details. I pulled a few of the walls into a bit of a different shape and stuff. Um, just to see, because one of you guys mentioned about making that bigger. So I've just tried, I tried it on cam. Well, what I thought was on camera and it wasn't. Um, but it just didn't look, make the build look the same shape. I, I enjoy this balance that this build's got. So we will still go in and size these down with the move, uh, with the tool mod, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Very, very annoyed. I was thinking about changing that window. Maybe we'll do that just before we go. Only because the banister like creeps into it and it really frustrates me. So maybe I could use these up here instead. That's better. Oh, just two little cheeky ones off to the side. Oh, that brings it a bit more character actually. But um, but yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I, I was a big derp and I forgot to hit record. And um, we ended up talking to myself I, was, I loved when i found that out but i promise i'll make it up to you we're going to be back tomorrow anyway tomorrow we're going to be um finishing off the garden we're going to do all of the garden area i want some ideas from you guys what do you think we should add in this garden remember the characters and stuff as well so um marcia likes to grow a veg we definitely need a little veg patch somewhere i'd like one like in a little gate make it look really cute maybe we could do like a little hut out here like a little i don't know I don't know, something like that. Like, I can just imagine a hut being in this back garden for some reason. So maybe we'll do that. But I want to hear off of you. I want your, your guys' ideas. What do you think we should add in the garden? This magical garden. We're going to be putting stairs here. So we can get you can get access out from the house itself. But yeah. Anyway, let's switch over to the other screen. And I'm going to say bye. Thank you so much for coming today, lovelies. I appreciate your face. Sorry about the blip with the recording. And sorry, this part's probably going to be a bit short. Um... But I, as I said, I'm live on Twitch from 7 p.m. BST. Um, and we'll get we'll be back tomorrow. I'll make sure we'll do a over an hour build tomorrow. We've got a nice long one. So maybe we'll get into the exteriors as well. I mean the interiors as well tomorrow, which would be cool. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Anyway, goodbye, my friends, and I hope to see some of you tonight on Twitch. Goodbye.